in a few moments, I am going to officially have solar power. Solar power, solar power, solar power. <sighs> I found the hole. I found the drop down cord hole. Oh my goodness, I was so scared I was gonna pull up the wrong thing. I have four different sets of solar panels so far and not a single one of them have worked so far so I just received a new one in about an hour ago and I am racing I just turned the lights back on I am racing to get it done tree so here's the fan so far so my last and final attempt at solar is going to be this flexible panel I'm hoping to drop the connections right here would love it if you would please come apart Ugh, come on I overnighted this tool <laughs> because I spent the last two weeks trying to get this apart and then gave up on it and then just threw it in the van and then I discovered yesterday that there is a removal tool and now I cannot get it to work okay you're supposed to just pop loose in the video you just popped loose I haven't finished the installation and <laughs> it's a million degrees in here I am so sweaty and today is my last day before my next trip <sighs> so I don't have any time to mess around. Oh, would you like to see my new lady's tool belt? Isn't that so cute? And I have a brand new tool bag. I have a growing number of tools. Everything has its place. Here's everything that I need to do the solar install. And my solar panel is right there and I pulled this cord cover off last night and then it got dark really fast and I still couldn't get the solar the last solar panel attached so I just taped it <laughs> because there's been a lot of leaking through the van and I don't think it rained last night but so far so good
I need to protect my cords. And I forgot to put my cord protector on. This little guy. So I have to undo it and do that again. This is very small. Okay, are you both gonna fit in there? That is a very small hole. <laughs> okay, I hope this works. Oops, did I drop the hole? I dropped, I dropped the whole cable. But it's splitting the wires. So I need more tape. Okay, can I use some of you? This is just temporary. Not to worry. I almost completely don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I am just researching as I go. I've, I've been researching for the last couple months and I still have to re-research when I come to every step to make sure that as I am determined to do this completely by myself that I do it correctly because I'm very afraid of things exploding in my face. Not that these would, but when I did a practice connection of the solar panels, it sparked several times and scared the bejesus out of me. All right, you need to keep going through. All of these holes that I am no longer using, I have to clean them out and close them up so that no water gets into the van. I worked way too hard on this insulation. There are no clear instructions on how to attach a flexible solar panel without screws. Oh, so really hoping this works. I'm sure Ford has the reason for all of these ridges that are making everything so difficult, but the solar glam box does not quite leave flat. So I'm hoping I can pile up some adhesive to give me a flat surface. There we go, looking good. Today is the last day. It is the final step. The roof solar is done. It just needs a little bit of extra tape. And today, I connect the solar battery, the power controller, and all of this. And then I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. After about two months of miserable struggling, this is it. 
I practiced setting all of this stuff up several times in my living room first so that by the time I got to this stage, I would already know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's see if there's directions. Okay, seems like there's a lot of steps. But I got this. I feel a little nervous because electricity just makes me nervous. And these are always getting all squirrely. Here comes the scary part. Please don't spark. Please don't spark. I'm so nervous that my hands are shaking. Oh, this part makes me, this part makes me so nervous. I just asked you not to spark. <laughs> we have power! <laughs> we have power! It was a windy night, apparently, and dirt has now glued itself to my sealant. Much better. I don't technically know what I'm doing, and I cannot stress that enough. Ugh. Why does Every step in this process requires so much muscle. All of this is my best attempt at creative problem solving. Don't know what I'm doing, cannot reiterate that enough. The only one thing left to do is to connect the inverter and turn it on. The moment of truth. I have solar! I have solar. I have solar. I have solar. 